Welcome back friends, today we are going to see the example of the docker push over the jacob artifact tree till now we have seen the different uh, example for where we are pushing the uh, docker image to a different repository where we take the azure, uh, aws, uh, github, GitLab container registry and uh, we have also seen the docker hub today we are going to understand the jpeg artifact we are going to post the docker image over the jpeg artifact let's start let's see the what things we are discussing today so let me go to the next slide so today we are going to see that how we are setting up the jpeg artifact repository and the credentials uh, then we will check the setting up the github repository writing the backup file and configuration which basically build the uh, docker image and making the tag then we will make the setup of the github action by ml file where we will make the, uh, the, the commands instruction where we will push the uh, docker image to the jpeg artifact tree then we will run the workflow and at last we will validate the, our image is reached over the destination or not so let's start let's move to the jpeg artifact tree console so right now i am in the jpeg artifact tree console this is the administrator tag we don't have any repository here so we are going to create repository so we have made some steps where we follow the all of these steps so i'm just making the name of the rep repository is s3 cloud up uh, example docker so i'm just creating the repository here so this pre will setup means you can choose the what type of repository you want to create so they are giving the different types of repository like marvin go Docker, Debian, and multiple types of uh, repositories supported by the JPEG artifact tree. So here we'll go with the uh, Docker here. I'm just selecting the Docker. We will give the name here. The name is prefix. We will give the name here. I'm just saving the name. Uh, okay, it's the cloud update and uh, example. So I'm just creating this name. Okay, so right now the Docker repository is created. It's the cloud of example Docker. So you can see the name here, this one URL. So you have this name. Let me save this name to somewhere because we have to use the same name. Okay, I'm just doing the continue. Okay, now you can see the repository is created here. Okay, it's asking to setting up the client. So since we have the already client, so we'll ignore this configuration part because we are going to use the git hub action part. In. So this is our repository, remote repository is created, you can see similar way here you can see the local part and virtual part also, so local, so it will automatically create the local once you create, so once it's the local, once the repository, the remote, so this will internal create the uh, different uh, uh, version for the repository configuration. When you go to the application, so this is my administrator tab, when you go to the application here, you can let me request page. So this is the application means the user uh, UI and this this was uh, our administrator UI. So here you can see there is nothing in the artifact part and uh, nothing in the package part. Artifact part, let's see. So artifact part, you can see uh, it's created a Docker example here you can see Docker example what we have created here. And once you click here, there is nothing inside, okay, because we didn't push anything in surface. Uh, okay. Let me go to the uh, uh, again the administrator part. Uh, we have a setting up the user authentication. You can click here uh, in the authentication part. User profile. So here you can create an identity token here. So we we'll give the name is example. This creating new here token. Okay, so this is my token key. Okay, I am just showing here for your our example purpose. But no worries, I'll going to delete before I upload my videos and I will publish my videos. Okay, so just make sure you should not export this key because this is the one time key and basically this key is basically connecting yours. Uh, yeah, connecting your uh, JPROC from your client. Okay, let's move to the uh, so i'm creating new repository here let's give the name jprog example 
making the public, create repository here. Let's create the first file here. This is our configuration of the Packer file. I'm giving the name is Packer, pkr.hc. Let's see the extension of the Packer file. You can use a JSON also, but here we are using the HCL. I'm just copying the my Packer uh, file so we can take the same example here. You can see what things we are using the Packer. Let's try to discuss here. So, Packer, we are using the, the required plugins. We are installing the GitHub plugins and SQL Docker we are taking. Then, we are pulling the our Docker image from the Docker Hub, which is the uh, Ubuntu 20.4. And then, we are making some operation on top of that image. So, like export the Debian part, VM, uh, the APT get update, and the, some configuration part we are doing here. Then, what we are doing, we are doing the, the tagging parts. So here, we are giving the repository s3 cloud up and uh, what we have created the docker uh, example docker the repository name that local at the uh, repository name and this will make the tagging of that repository image so this docker image tags and the same tags we are going to upload over the uh, jpeg repository let me commit this change uh, let's go to the uh, action part once we this is done okay Okay, let me go to the action here and in setting up the GitHub action workflow, just creating the simple workflow here. So we'll take a blank workflow. I'm just creating the build.yaml. Okay, I'm just remove this configuration. I'm adding my configuration. Okay, let's discuss this part. So this will trigger on the when we got the any commit over the main branch, taking the Ubuntu latest image, then we do the checkout here, then setting up the Docker. Uh, part that that is a pre-configuration given by the action workflow then we are making the setup uh, of the packer and then packer initializing we are doing then we are doing, we are doing the packer validate the uh, files which we have written here then we are doing the packer build this will build our docker image then we do the login over the jpeg artifact here then we actually we are doing the git push to the repository remote repository and then we do the logout part Okay, then we need basically three variables, jpeg password, jpeg url, and jpeg username. So let's make the configuration part here. If you go to the settings part, in the repository setting part, uh, secret and variable action here will add the secrets here. So let's take the one by one variable. So jpeg password will take the jpeg password here secret, jpeg password. We have password already. We can see this is our password. I'm pasting here. Okay, username. It's the same what we have given. Jpeg username. So we have to the username here. username then jpeg url we have to take url we have to take jpeg url we have to take here okay now we have to get the value of the url this is my url So all secrets have been set now. We are ready to commit changes here. I'm just committing my changes here. So create build.yml. Once commit changes will go to the GitHub action. Changes is done. Let's go to the action part. This should trigger the automatically uh, the CICD pipeline. So this will do build here. And here you can see the all stages which we have defined in the ML that will trigger here. So this will do the setup part, build part, and do the check for login. So right now it's build uh, part is running, that the better build command is running.
Okay, so build part is completed. Now Zoho got to be the login part is also done. Now it's actually pushing the image here. You can see the first image here, and this pushing image is running here. So when push is done, we'll validate the, the status over the Zoho remote activity. So it's still running here. You can see push is running. So one uh, image part is uploaded. You can see zero C. Uh, it's uploaded okay now both are uploaded here and now logout mode is done so here it's once it's done it will make the green here okay right now we can see the green here in the action so this is done now let's go to the uh, activate part let's go to the activity let's go to this one let me go to application level packages Okay, you can see the Docker example tag is created here. Now earlier it was not there. Right now our package, our image is post here, and you can see the two different versions. Because we taken the two versions here in our code, you can let me go back to see the code. So Docker actually you can see uh, the two image we tag here user. So two tag has been post here. So this is overall example of. Uh, uh, how we can push the Docker image to the Zipper Artifactory? Uh, we will attach the same uh, GitHub uh, code example in the same video, so you can also refer and do your own demo. Also. So thank you for watching this video. Keep like, share, subscribe for the channel. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.